Coach, thanks for being here this morning. I know the season kicks off here in just a few weeks, and you've got big expectations, an exciting time for you. So tell me a little bit about, you know, the, the boys are going to be on campus here soon. What's your favorite part about preseason? That's a good question. So um, the NCAA calendar is unique, right? So we don't get our hands on these players as, as much as we'd like. And while that's evolving and changing a little bit through legislation, um, you know, I pretty much pass these guys off to strength and conditioning in the off season. So when we get everybody back for the fall, that's really our first opportunity to, to kind of dive into what this team is going to look like. We do quite a bit of team building. If you recall as a player, it's when, yeah. you, it's when you start to develop that camaraderie because during two-a-day camps, well, it's, well, it's rigorous. Um, your sole focus is soccer, and you spend so much time with your teammates during preseason camp that that becomes the primary focus. And from a coaching standpoint, that's what I'm looking most forward sure. to. Well, so you've, you've had a lot of success recently. You know, last year you finished second in the conference. You know, tell us a little bit about what your goals will be for this upcoming season. Sure. So, um, yeah, we were, we were pleased with where we finished last year, but it still doesn't meet the standard that we, we want to set around here. Um, it's a, as you know, it's a super competitive league, so um, there are a lot of teams in our league that would, that would love to finish second. Um, however, we hope to take that next step, and we bring back a, a pretty significant core um, heading into this fall. So I think we returned eight of 11 starters, and we have four guys back from injury that missed um, the previous season. So expectations will be high this year. Um, we'll spend the preseason trying to determine what our identity is going to be this sure. year. Sure. So as a, a fan of the program, when's gonna be, when is going to be the first time I'm actually going to be able to see this team live and in action? Another good question. So our first exhibition is actually on the road. It's at Quincy, which is okay. a Division II institution. We actually played them last preseason during um, our camp and, and beat them 1-0. But they're a competitive side um, from a higher division, so we'll be tested right out of the gate. So sure. that's our, our third day of preseason. So we'll only have four practices in before we go play. And, um, and, and that's on the road, so it'll be tough for a lot of our, our supporters to see. The 24th, which is a midweek game, it's a Wednesday, um, will be our first home exhibition match. And then the 27th of August, which is just three weeks away now, is our alum game. Okay. So we're hopeful that our alums get that on their calendar and there's a strong showing on the 27th. So you're saying to all the alums out there, start stretching the hamstrings. Yeah, yeah, out. yeah. <laughs> it would be good to find the treadmill now. Yeah. <laughs> So as an alum from the, the soccer program, you know, what can I do to kind of help your team and your program kind of get over that hump and, and pursue that, you know, the, the first place in the conference and the a position in the, the national tournament? I'm glad you asked that question because that is one of the things that our alums um, often ask is how, how can we help or how can we support the program? And there's a lot of um, progress being made here. So over the last decade, I think our average finish in the conference is somewhere around third place. Um, and so you, you start to ask yourself when you've been at it for, for 10 years now, okay, how do we go from third to first, right? And we're doing some great things here at Simpson. Our, our new AD, um, Coach Bell, has all sorts of facilities um, underway already. Sure. So for instance, the turf's being done right now in the stadium right outside these windows. Yeah. Um, so that, that we're making progress in that area. Um, we're also making progress in terms of things that are um, behind the scenes like staffing. Sure. So our staff has grown from three to five, um, so we're better supported in that capacity. The one area where I think we could make some progress and really try to elevate the program is is through fundraising. Sure. Um, so there's always room to grow our budget, and when we can grow our budget through through fundraising, um, then we're able to provide a better experience for these guys. Sure. And I think that might be just one more thing that helps us get from third to first. Sure. And we have an alum on board that's going to create some uh, sort of matching program has offered a pretty substantial amount so all the alum other alums can give and support the program and he's going to match it dollar for dollar right and that's that's where we're trying to go with this fundraising campaign this year sure. this is something new we've never done before so we're hoping to do a bit more alumni outreach this yeah. year and, and you're right we have a donor that stepped up with a pretty significant gift and now the challenge is can we get some of our other alums to to give a little bit so we can match that gift. Yeah. And if we're able to do that, um, all of a sudden our athletes benefit from that, our soccer program can, can potentially find another level. Absolutely. So for those that are looking to, to give, um, and, and again, it doesn't have to be a lot of money, every little bit helps. Um, we'd like to filter any donations and giving through our athletic booster club. So there's a link on our athletic website to the booster club. All anybody would have to do that's interested in supporting the program is just earmark in soccer. Um, that check will go directly into our account, and then we can start to provide our guys with some things that maybe they need. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Good luck with the, the season, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, Dave. Absolutely. Absolutely.